Well, what I'm planning with this is a set of videos for working on a somatic way towards improving walking, as well as finding a little more comfort from some chronic pain issues. So I'm going to have this video start each of the uh, segments, and then I will go video by video through them. They can be done in the specific order I have them laid out, or they can also be done in any order that you seem that you want to do them in. It is, doesn't have to be the exact specifics to them. Uh, what you will need is a place to lie down. You can have a yoga mat. I'm not going to use one because my carpet here is plenty fine. You can use a yoga mat, floor, whatever works for you. So all you really need is a place to lie down and yourself. Whether you have towels or a yoga mat is up to you. With that, let's hop into the exercises. Welcome back. For this next portion of the series, what we're going to do is having our knees drop to the sides. Instead of just dropping our knees how we normally would, we're going to focus on the knee. In this case, it's my right knee. And it'll start to fall over to the right side. Notice my left knee is still bent here. Once there is enough tension through here, that tension will pull the other knee over. We'll go as far as we can go down. And then we'll start to lift the knee up. Again, the knee is going to lift up. The bottom leg will stay where it is until there is that tension held between the adductors, which will start to lift the other leg. And as we roll to the side, the other side, it pulls the over. We can do a variation where we stay here for a little while to rest, or we can go a little quicker through it. Both variations are fine to play with. Lifting the top knee up until there's the tension. Everyone's tension is going to be a little different. It's about going with your own tension in here. Coming down. Up. Tension pulls the other one over and down. Now, I'm going to be shorter here just for the sake of time in these videos. This is something I mean, you can do for a few minutes or longer. Sometimes in the morning, I will do this, just this exercise for four or five minutes. And what I find is as I start to move, my adductors and my hips, everything gets a little looser. It's a little more fluid, a little easier, which makes my whole body start to move easier and nicer. So I'm going to stop the video at this point, and we'll build on to the next part in the next video. So thanks for tuning in to these exercises. I'll have this video at the end of each of the exercises to kind of keep some continuity through them. These videos are, are great for helping to repattern our walking and our movement patterns. They can also be great for chronic pain. A lot of times what happens I find in my clients is that chronic pain comes from the inappropriate or in, inaccurate timing of how they're using their muscles. So we can use our muscles in various ways. These exercises are about getting down to almost the most base way of moving to allow the patterning to go through and so if we are overusing muscles, as in some of the videos I'll talk about how this is not the most efficient way, if we're overusing muscles that don't need to be, what we can start to do here is repattern it so that those muscles that are, are ineffectual, which will then start to cause pain because they're not being used how they're meant to be, we can work and change that in some ways, which is just really wonderful. It's actually kind of amazing how some of these simple, simple things can just change, change the world for us. And that's what I'm hoping to do for all of you, is find ways to find more ease and comfort in your bodies and therefore in, in your life. So I'll continue to uh, go on in these in, in uh, incremental videos. I've got about four or five in the initial plan, and then we'll go from there in the next one. I hope they're helpful for you. Please let me know how else I can be of more help for you. Be well out there. Peace.